in the bed wanting those Cheetos. Hey, we ain't eating no Cheetos early in the morning. We're going to get some breakfast. Hey, no, we're not eating Cheetos. No Cheetos. What you got there, Nave? What you got there? I thought we was going to get some breakfast. Nave, you ready to go get some breakfast? Mama. Come on. I'm not mama. Yeah. Dad, dad. Dad, dad. Dad, dad. You want some breakfast? Come on. I'm about to get in the bed these keys. We'll see if she's gonna take it to the door. Look, she left the baby doll. Go, go to the car. Keys. Ain't that funny how babies know stuff like that? They take the key, they, they go to the door. That is so funny. I knew she was gonna do it. She does it all the time. Front door. Nevaeh. Nevaeh. <laughs> What's so funny? What's so funny? Nevaeh. What's so funny? That little girl right there, boy, I tell you, she's a handful, man. She's a handful. Hey, what you want? What you want, McDonald's? Waffle House? Cracker Barrel? Cracker Barrel, Waffle House. Which one? So we we ain't gonna go to McDonald's or uh, Cracker. I might go to Cracker Barrel, but it's a little place up here. It's called I think it's called Waffle Kitchen. I don't know if they're closed, but uh, if they're if they're open, we're gonna go there. We ain't going to McDonald's. We don't eat no fast food. We need an actual home cooked meal. Daddy don't got time to cook it himself. So we're going to have to go get it. But I think that place is open. I know they're not open on Sundays, but right now on Saturday, they should be open. Cracker Barrel got some cheesy pancakes. Sounds good. I know Nevaeh would like it. I saw a, I saw a billboard uh, the other day when I was in my truck. And it was like, uh, I want to say it was cheesecake pancakes maybe that's what that sign said i was driving too fast we got a sweet frog sign right there the veil she loves sweet frog too but i saw that sign for um cheesecake pancakes and that's what gave me the idea i was like yeah i'm gonna take the veil and get some breakfast on saturday we're gonna get something good so cracker barrel is actually right over there off the right off this exit make a right Right over there. They've been doing the most road work in Dunn for the longest. They got that bridge coming up. They got straight down 95 North right there. They got like one, two. They got two more they're working on at the moment too. And if you go back south, they got about three or four, three or four more they're putting up. Somebody actually hit this bridge maybe about three months ago. Matter of fact, the bridge right down the road from it, the next exit up, somebody hit that one too. A lot of these bridges are low clearance, even though they're on 95. That's why you have to, if you get off right down here and exit 75, right down there where the Sattler's Travel Plaza at, right back that way, you'll see a, a sign that says, uh, all over, over height trucks must exit. And right up here, about two stoplights down they come through that way so this is the place triangle waffle what did i call it i called it waffle kitchen so it's triangle waffle yeah they're open we just gotta find a parking spot we'll park i ain't gonna find one in the front so we're just gonna go ahead and come back here to the back we're gonna eat at waffle kitchen 
gonna turn around right here and get a little closer to the front. Let's get up here at the front. Oh, how ironic. <laughs> no parking. <laughs> how ironic. No wonder nobody was parked there. So yeah, we'll get these get this little spot. Hey, you ready for some breakfast? Might get you some chocolate chip pancakes or something. Yeah. Nevaeh, this way. This way, mama. Come on. Come on, mama. Nevaeh gets outside. She just freezes up. Go in the house. She be walking everywhere. Nevaeh. Nevaeh. There's nothing over there. Nevaeh, this way. Come on, girl. Look at her. Come on. This way. No way we would have made it inside waiting on you. Breakfast would have been over by the time we got in there. Slow as you walk. Look at the van. She see all these people. Right here. Where the food at? Hey, we actually ended up going to Cracker Barrel instead of that other spot because they had a long wait. We came to Cracker Barrel, we sat right down. <laughs> Ain't that right, Nevaeh? Nevaeh ate up a lot of stuff. But look, we still got the bag back there. We ain't eat it all. She couldn't handle that whole cheese. <laughs> what, what, what? You ain't eat the whole pancake. Mm -hmm. You didn't eat it. She only ate about, about three or four bites from the cheesecake pancake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you. Won't eat the rest of it. So we she ate the strawberries, but she won't eat the pancake. Nah, nah, no. Look at her, arguing. She knows she didn't eat all her food. She drunk plenty of orange juice, though. Hey. <laughs> hey, we're about to get on back to the house. 12.50. I got to go get my hair cut at, um... Hey. She don't know. I got to... I got to... I gotta leave her with her mama. I gotta go get my hair cut at 2.30. Daddy gonna have to leave you. Yeah. <laughs> so we ended up going to Cracker Barrel because the other place was full. It was The wait was too long. Cracker Barrel was just fine though. I'm glad I went. Nevaeh, you don't wanna ride your toy? Come on, let's ride the toy. Come on, get your tail up, Nevaeh. She like playing with mulch too. She'll pick that mulch up, try to eat it. You gotta keep an eye on her. Come on, look at her, Nevaeh. Oh, look at her. What I tell you, mulch. Give me that. Give me that. Back in the old days, you had to use your legs to walk in those walkers. She had one, she got one of those too, but I said she had one because I took it to her grandma house and I never brought it back. Look what I got sitting over there on the ground. That drone. Nevaeh, she thinks, she don't know it's a, she don't know it's a drone. She just think it's a big bug or something. I'm about to, I'm about to take it off. Take off. 
she don't even see it. She sees it now. Play by that drone. If you hear that beeping, you hear that beeping coming from the controller. It's because it's getting close to that tree and that power line. So it's beeping. Y'all can't really see the screen on there too good. If you see it has an X on me, it's because the drone is tracking me. It's tracking me, so it's getting close to that tree. It won't get close to it because uh those sensors are keep it from, from crashing into the tree. Yeah, and the veil don't like that drone. She don't play. Got a little buzzing. Sound like a big bee or something. Look at her. I'm about to land it real quick. Look at it. It came close by itself. Let's land this son of a gun. It's real easy to land it, too. All you do is hit the little button right here. Hold it. It'll land. Landing. I ain't need to touch the controls. Land by itself. If y'all want to know how, how good this drone is, hey, look, I can actually fly it to the truck stop. It can go up to seven miles. I ain't never took it that far. But I could, I could technically fly it to the truck stop. Truck stop is like back that direction. It's a park over there. I could fly it to that park. I'm going to take it up real quick. Let y'all see the view. Pick it up for me. Yes. Nevada. Yes. No, you're going to break the wings. She ain't scared of it while it's cut off. You're going to break the wings on it. No. Hey, you know what? I just realized I'm supposed to be vlogging everything. I forgot. That's the thing about YouTube, man. You you try to make videos, but then you you do stuff and you forget it. I just left the barbershop. How that line look? Look crispy. Y'all don't normally see me with gray hair. Y'all don't normally see me with it. I usually dye it. But I haven't dyed it in a while. I've been embracing it. But right now, I think I'm about to stop up here at Walgreens and give me some, uh, give me some just for me. Cause one of my buddies is having a get together at 4:30. What time is it? Three o'clock. It's three o'clock right now. One of my buddies is having a little get together, so I'm about to get ready to go home, 
take a quick shower, not wash my hair because I don't want to wash my damn Beijing at. <laughs> I got a little Beijing out there, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't gonna wash my hair just yet. But I'm about to get ready to go out there to this uh, little get together, have a few drinks. Notice my daughter is not with me. She's with her mom. I used to go to this barbershop right here, but I never looked like that when I came out. That's actually a Hispanic barbershop. See, I was about to go to Walgreens, but I'm gonna go right here to this beauty town for some dye. It's actually a good thing I came here instead of Walgreens, but that's what made me not go to Walgreens because last time I went, they didn't have the stuff I needed. So I, I ended up getting something else and it didn't work too good. So instead of turning my hair black, it turned it like a, um, like a burgundy. So I got that jet black now. And it works in three minutes. Speed bump. Three minutes, all you need, three minutes. If I never would have told y'all that I used that, that just for men, y'all would have never known. Come on, traffic. Use your signal light, drivers. Use your signal light. I could have pulled out. Look at this car. Wait till the last second to put on the signal light. I could have been left. I thought they were going straight, but they were really turning. The most gray is in this area. Look at it, cake. Look at that. Look how it cakes on. <laughs> Miss the spot on my flavor saver. We about to get ready to wash this out. Hey, if anybody ever uses this, make sure you use a dark washcloth where you can just throw it away when you get done. If you want to keep it, you know, dark one. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna wash my face with this washcloth and mess my line up. That Beijing hairline, that's only good for about a day or two. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna wash my face with this washcloth and mess my line up. That Beijing hairline, that's only good for about a day or two. Hey fellas, that dye work all right? You see any gray? I think I did all right. I just made it up here to my buddy's house. I don't even see his, uh, I don't even see his pickup truck. So I have to park in front of the neighbor's house. They be tripping over here. They don't want you parking in the damn circle. Now my buddy told me he had to go pick up the food at four o'clock. And he told me to be here at 4.30. It's 5.13, I'm a little late. <laughs> I'm a little late, hey. But I don't even see his pickup truck. Maybe he, if he got it in the garage or something, or maybe he's still going to pick the food up. <laughs> they got a pretty good crowd over here. Got one, two, three, four, five, about six or seven cars over here. I don't even know what's going on. My buddy was like, hey, I'm doing a surprise for my old lady at 430. Just pull up. I got something in the back seat for him. 12 pack of Modelo. I wasn't going to put my shoes on. I have on shoes, but I wasn't going to put on my actual shoes. I got on my Crocs. How does Crocs look? But since we got all these people, I think I'll put my shoes on. Because when you go upstairs at my buddy house, you gotta take your shoes off anyway. I don't know, decisions, decisions. <laughs> Let's, let me go ahead and get out real quick. We crocking, baby. <laughs> I ain't putting the shoes on. But if I was gonna go in, I'm about to put on these bad boys. Them fresh whites. Fresh wax. And if we go to a bar, which we probably will later, we might go. 
I'll throw these bad boys on. Yeah, but we about to crock it. These Crocs look stylish with these jeans. What y'all think?